Thank you for joining me. I'm Teresa Crawley with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you one of our pre-owned units. It's a 2015 Tiffin Allegro bus floor plan 45 OP. That means it's the 45 foot long, the highest end coach that Tiffin makes, and it's really beautiful. Uh, we'll start with the outside here. We have a nice uh, refrigerator freezer programmable here on a slide. We also have an exterior TV, really nice full body paint. As we go through these, you'll see that we have slide out trays and these go, this one goes all the way from one side to the other and the next one does as well. That makes getting things in the middle of the coach quite easy for you save your back and really gives you a lot more space than you would have otherwise. This one is the same thing and there's some extra parts down there and all your owner, owner manuals as well. We've got some tiles in case you happen to break one and some filters for the future. Right here is where your central vacuum is going to be cleaned out and serviced as well as your aqua hot system. Your aqua hot is your continuous hot water as well as your furnace. Um, it's a really, really nice thing to have on a coach and these higher end coaches tend to have them. Um, but that basically means as much water as you have, it can be hot. So you can take long showers if you're plugged into a water source at a, at a park or something like that. Um, back here we have your duff and your engine compartment. And if you want exact specs on anything and I forget to mention them, just go ahead and email or call me and I'll make sure to get those to you. This is your chassis batteries located in the back, of course, because the engine's in the back. That's what makes your ride so quiet when you're in a diesel pusher. We do have a 450 horsepower Cummins engine here, and we are on a Power Glide chassis, just so you know. That's Tiffin's special. Only, only Tiffin offers the Power Glide chassis. Back here we have your backup camera, of course. You will see that you can, you can see your engine and your filters back here. That's a big deal because that means you have a side radiator. That'll save you money and time when you're servicing anything in this engine department when, or compartment when you have your radiator on the side. We also have a 15,000 pound towing hitch here. So you can tow quite a lot with this unit without noticing um, you've got something behind you. Beautiful coach. It doesn't seem to have any paint chips or nicks that I can see. Here's your water bay. A couple things to point out here. We do have a whole house water filter um, and we do have an electric rewind water hose. So that's just gonna be, you push a button and it'll come right back in for you. So you're not having to pull on it when it's cold and stiff or dirty. And then here's gonna be your 50 amp power hose, which also is on an electric rewind reel. Really nice feature to have. These are those pasture storage trays from the other side we saw before. So they just come out this side as well, just exactly the same way. This is your house batteries. So they are in a separate compartment for your chassis batteries. Um, they're looking really new and nice in here. And we do have a disconnect in there as well, but you also have one at the entry of this coach. So I'll show you that when we get around to that area. Right here, we just got some slide controls and motors, etc. And one last one, this is where you're going to be able to open your generator hood as well as reset some of those breakers. Uh, we do have dual 
uh, diesel fill. So both sides are going to have a way to put your diesel in there. This holds 150 gallons of diesel, so quite a bit before you have to stop again. And one last thing I wanted to point out before we go inside is that we do have window awnings as well as your regular awnings. Um, so that means that even on the driver's side of the bus, we're going to be able to have awnings come out. And I always tell people, you know, the sun doesn't always shine on that side. That's really going to help with heat coming in the coach. We also have some really nice slide toppers. And what that does is that keeps water, snow, debris from going and messing up your slide seals. So really nice thing. Also, you're not going to get dumped on by water if it's got water trapped on that slide out. It'll go with the, when you retract it, it comes back in. So it's really a great feature. Um, we're going to go on inside. And you'll notice I have a programmable door code here. So if you happen to not have your keys on you or don't want to carry your keys with you, you can program this code for just you to know. And then you can get in and out of the bus when you don't have your keys with you. We have a little bit of a storage compartment here, which is going to be great for dog leashes, umbrellas, flip-flops, etc. Nice to have that right here before you even get in. And then right at the door, we've got several controls that are going to make a big difference. Your battery disconnect on and off. You can turn your step on and off. Your light master, that'll do the whole coach at once. So say you're getting ready to go to dinner. You didn't go through and turn each light off individually. You can just push off or on to get back in. Um, and then we have some other controls like the lock and the outside um, lights, etc. The entry shade for this person to not be blinded by the sun when it's coming in. I'm going to show you this front end real quick here before we get to the back. There were some really great things about this that are different. The Tiffins, of course, are built different than some of the other brands. I'm just going to start her up. And one thing that I noticed right away was that the backup camera also shows little windows of the left side and the right side. And a lot of coaches don't do that. I like that I can see everything at once. While I was driving here, I noticed this was all up. When I turned on uh, my turn signal though, it did change the way that that looked. Um, it's not doing it right now for some reason. Let's see, there we go. So do you see how it's just left and right showing right now? It's not showing you the back. That's because I have a turn signal on right now. So super safety there. I love that feature. Um, of course, we have our touch buttons for our windshield wipers, which we needed today, and our thank you lights, our regular lights. Um, we also have the ability to adjust the um, steering wheel with these little buttons here. So if you need it closer or further or up or down, that's a possibility here. Um, over here, we actually have the ability to move the pedals to you or away from you. So, you know, not everybody's the same height. You're going to need to move these occasionally. So that's a really great feature as well. The aux start is if your chassis battery gets low and you can't get your engine to start, it will pull from your house batteries just to make sure you get home. Um, we have an engine preheat here, parking brake. This is your Allison transmission. Then we have powered uh, side view mirrors and heat for those mirrors as well. Let's see if I can move my seat back a little bit so you can see better. We have the ta tag dump auto, or if you want to do it manually, that's that. Engine brake, air horn, and this is your toll window right here. You don't have to get out when the, you're at a toll booth, so that's nice. Um, we have automatic traction control and the driver's solar shade. So that's going to bring this down if, if it's just too bright out. It's taken a while to get past the other shade, but um, and that way I don't have to look away from the road to put this down. I can just put it down without having to look away. And then I have a night shade here as well. So that's the darker one. This is extra special. We have um, air leveling as well as hydraulic leveling on this coach. Um, but what this does when you're going down the road, the air leveling is actually adjusting you as you go. 
Um, when I was driving over here, I noticed that it would um, level me out when I was in weird places in the parking lot. So it'll actually add some air to this airbag to make you even on the road so you're not all over the place feeling like you're going to tilt over. Really nice to have that. And also you can choose if you're going to use air leveling or you're going to use actual jacks. And that just depends on where you're parked and how long you're going to stay. Um, you might just be comfortable getting some air leveling and then just moving on with your day. Um, we do have a little compartment for storage here with a little cup holder and some more little manuals and things like that that the previous owner left for us. This seems like a silly thing to have <laughs> because you can't really see out your back window. There really isn't one, but this will show um, some important features. So I am glad that they, they added that. Um, we also have a TV up here and we have our inverter control, our carefree awning control, our satellite control. Um, and then we have our slide outs here. So I'm gonna extend these slide outs, but you might wanna take a peek at how much room you have to walk through while we're in travel mode. This one has a little bit more than some other coaches that I've seen just because of the way the furniture was opted in. Um, you're gonna be able to get back to that refrigerator and that mid bathroom, no problem. So here we go with the passenger side and hear how quiet that is. It's a really nice slide out there. Really nice porcelain tile floor. And driver's side. Okay. One more thing up front, we do have some solar on this coach. So right now we're just doing a trickle charge to our house batteries. It's just really nice if you're out in the middle of nowhere just to top those off. It's easy to do. Um, as in any uh, Class A diesel pusher, these front seats are going to turn around so they can become part of your living area um, if you have extra guests or something like that. This couch has a bunch of stuff on it because it actually comes out to be an L-shaped sofa. So you're gonna have a little bit more room for watching TV, which is gonna be directly across where this fireplace is and it makes a really cozy sitting area. I'll get this built so you can see how it works. And easy peasy, there you go. Get out of your way a little bit. If you happen to have some guests, this is probably where you'd want them to sleep. And there is a pull out sleeper sofa here as well, just like in a home. And we have recliners on these seats as well. So this is like a three-in-one situation here, which is quite unusual in these coaches. You usually have to have something else going on, like an ottoman, if you have a sleeper. But they figured out how to get that all in there. Um, lots of storage above here. I don't think we need to look at every single one, but I'll open them so you can see how deep they are. And one thing that Tiffin is really known for is their incredible cabinetry. So again, this is a 2015 coach. Not one of these is wobbly or squeaking or even scratched up. They're just really well built so they last. And they close really solidly so they're not gonna fly open on you when you're going down the road. Um, across from where we just were, I did mention there's a fireplace as well as a TV. The fireplace can be used just for aesthetics or it can actually do some heating as well. Um, this is just a little table for the person who is sitting in this recliner here. So they can actually have their dinner here. You don't have to bring extra little tables and things like that. 
And this recliner is not attached to the floor. Really important to note that because it's gonna be hard to watch TV in that position. But you can move this, you can actually put it out here in the middle or you can take it out altogether. It's totally up to you. But you've got a really nice recliner chair here. Then my favorite, well, one of my two favorite things about Tiffin's, their kitchen has the best counter space of anyone I know. Um, super deep counters, really nice big pullouts. So look at all this extra space I just gained by pulling that out. Lots of room to cut things or just to make a snack bar. You have a nice pullout here, full extension. convection microwave oven so you can actually bake in there and then we have this really nice wolf induction cooktop and rather than having a, a cover that you have to store somewhere which can be really heavy and hard to put away and find a place for this just folds up and makes a backsplash I wish every manufacturer would do this it's so much smarter and easier on on the hands this is a Fisher Paykel dishwasher. And some people will say, oh, that's not necessary. I don't need a dishwasher. Um, but this makes really great storage if you don't want to use the dishwasher. So I know that my spaghetti pan is about that deep and that's about how deep this dishwasher is. So you can, you can do other things with it. We have a nice place for baking sheets and things like that down here. More storage with another pull-out here. And then this is another thing that I love Tiffin does. So these little drawers, and I mean, use your imagination. These could be a spice drawer. They could be a junk drawer for your pens and things. It's, it's just a great little space to have there. They also do this really nice pull-out for your trash, recycle, etc. So you can put a bin there, and then these actually move around. So you can get to that stuff on the bottom as well. They give you options for all of this. Nice little silverware drawer. And of course, more storage and more storage down there as well. We'll take a peek at the, the sink here. We've got a two-sided sink. Pretty good size. You could wash a little puppy in there. <laughs> and then we've got a nice spray out here and a soap dispenser. We also have a central vacuum, which I mentioned when we were outside. This is a kick plate. So if you are to sweep, all of your debris this will just suck it right up um, there's also going to be an outlet right here for if you wanted to put a hose in and do it the old-fashioned way like this so a central vacuum and then over here we have this table situation that also doubles as a desk so of course you're going to want to sit here and eat and it has a pull out as well if i can get it out let's see Maybe I needed to take my spinach vitamins today. Anyway, this does pull out a little bit and there's two fold out chairs in the back closet. Um, this also does make into an office as I stated before. So this has a little pull out for a keyboard or laptop if you wanted to keep that in there. And down here we have a pull out for if you had a printer with you but even if you don't use it for that, it's really nice to have a pull out there. We do have a plug in here, but we also have this one that's kind of tucked away with USBs and power as well. So great workstation. I know a lot of people are working on the road nowadays because they can, which I think is so great. Get to experience America a little bit more. Over here, we have a Maytag residential refrigerator. It's really good size. A 
and then your freezer down here. And directly across we have our half bath. So this coach does have a bath and a half. This is the one you're gonna be using when you're going down the road and your slides are in. So you can get access to this quite easily. Or if you happen to be staying somewhere that you can't put your slides out, that's the one you're gonna to wanna to use. So really handy to have that. As you can see, the bed slides are still in, so I'm gonna put those out so we can get a good look at this back area. Now this coach is 45 feet long, so it really has everything that you need. A really good sized uh, master bathroom, good sized master bedroom. This is a king size bed in here. We have a little ceiling fan and windows on either side of the bed so that you can get some cross breeze going. You'll be able to see that in a moment. We also do have plug-ins and USB ports on either side of the bed. If you need an alarm clock or charge your phone or you have a sleep apnea machine, this is ready for that. And then over here, this is another thing that Tiffin does that I don't think anyone else does, is you've got a little laundry hamper here. I think that's adorable. This um, cabinet is different so that your audio components can be read, your remotes can be read through there. So that's why it has the different look to it. And then lots of storage again. As much as you can get in these little spaces, that's true. These are nice and deep as well. A little bit up here. Now, if I happen to miss any specs or any information that you're wanting to know, please email or call me. I'm happy to get that to you. These are live videos, so I don't always remember everything. It's kind of a impromptu off the cuff kind of a deal. So please forgive me, but give me a chance and reach out to me and I'm happy to give you information. Here's your slider door that goes into the master bath. We do have one on the other side of the master bedroom as well. So this does have plenty of privacy. And then back into this huge master bath. We've got two sinks. I love that they made it the same uh, solid surface countertop. They made the sink out of that as well. No glass bowls to break or anything like that really good sized medicine cabinets here. Underneath storage and lots of drawers as well. So really a residential type of bathroom. Lots of room for your products. Over here we have a shower um, with a skylight and that's important to note because Sometimes when they have a skylight, they can get really hot in here, but this one actually has a cover so you can close that off as well. Um, so you can choose whether you want that open or not. If it's too hot of a day, just close it up and use the light bulb. And then this is the other thing that Tiffin does that I just think is so clever. We have our washer and dryer in the closet. So when you're done with your drying, you can literally pull it out fold it on the shelf in here or hang it up and you're done. You don't have to haul it around to do things. There's a great little folding area right here. Little place to put your socks and things. Shoe cubbies. Lots more drawers. And again, they go down and then we have a full hanging bar across here. So tons of space room for your shoes. We also have a safe here, which you can program your own code into as well. And you can bring all your diamonds and pearls with you. So 
So I think that's it in this beautiful Tiffin bus. Please call me for prices, specs, any other information that you're wanting to know. Be happy to help you. My name is Teresa Crawley. I met Teresa Crawley at transwest.com or 303-684-3427. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.